Hello everybody and welcome to Bear Bear Reviews with me your host Jack and for tonight's little delectations we have yet another canned beer which is always cool, we like cans, they keep beer fresher, they're easy to pack, easy to sand, more recyclable than bottles, don't get like skunk in and no oxidation in them. I mean, you know I'm a proponent of cans, nothing wrong with bottles but cans are better, it's just more start costs. So this is More Beer Company with a hoppiness little IPA. And these guys hail from Somerset, uh, just outside of Bristol, um, and they've been going for quite a while now. But uh, in, I think it was 2007 they got taken over by uh, an American guy called Justin Hawke, who hails from California. And at the same time as the takeover, there was kind of a rebrand and got these like really nice Art Deco style um, cans and designs and labels now. Uh, as I said, this 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 has just gone into into cans, which is why I picked up one of them. I've I've seen some of the bottles and I've had a few more beers before, but. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one kind of wide distribution and mainly because of the hype of them going into cans. So this is Hoppiness, which is like a, they call it a crossover IPA, it's clocking in at 6.5%. And, and having a quick nose at the website because I was trying to find out what the hops were in it. It says it's actually uh, pretty balanced really in terms of flavour profile and, and I've heard the same things from friends of mine who've had it. Uh, and that it is somewhat, they want it the kind of malt profile of a barley wine alongside some of those big punching hot flavours that um, Justin is so familiar with coming from California. Um, so we'll crack this fellow open and see what we've got. Um, should be quite interesting, I think. Best sound in the world ever. These are can conditioned as well. They're unfined and unfiltered, which is fantastic. It's exactly what I like to hear. Uh, there's a nice little interesting little blurb on the website actually about the difference between uh, fine and unfine beers. We should consider it in the same sense as uh, with a scrumpy cider, like a cloudy cider. It's seen as a positive connotation that, uh, to, uh, towards the quality of a cider scrumpy if it is cloudy. In the same way, we should find unfiltered, unfine beers. There's a level of quality when you know you can see um, the, the yeast and the, like, the hop oils and stuff in the beer. It was an interesting little read anyway. It's well worth checking out. So, in the glass, we have this nice, deep, copper coloured little bit there is that tiny bit of haze to it but we were expecting that a nice little fluffy white head on the top of it as well so let's get in there and get a good old smell mmm it's kind of kind of sweet citrus on the nose there's definitely some caramel and some toffee in the backbone of this there's a nice bit of tropical fruit in it as well but man a big blood orange juicy orangey note it does have a nice aroma Smell a little bit of the yeast as well in it, I would think, which is not often the case, but it smells kind of phenolic. I wonder if they use kind of a fruity English yeast or something like that rather than American ale yeast, because I'm getting some kind of phenolic smells on it, which is I consider a good thing in this. So, cheers everyone, let's get in there and give it a little try. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. It's nice and juicy. It's not particularly like massively bitter, piney, dank, or, or resinous in that sense. It's more kind of juicy. There's certainly some mango in there. So it's some tropical fruits going on. That nice orange note in the middle, but it has this overall quite soft mouth feel. Not particularly aggressive, although I do get a kind of a little touch of, of um kind of treated water kind of brewing salts flavouring as well which is perhaps what I was getting the aroma um, yeah it's very juicy and very, very soft uh, I mean for a six and a half percent it drinks really well and I'm usually quite a big fan of a, of a juicy IPA I think this one's just probably a little bit more muted than some of the other juice bomb IPAs that I've got uh, that I've had I should say still a really nice beer overall big soft mouth profile it'd be a really really good beer uh, for those who are kind of entering into the IPA style and um, to kind of get their teeth around. There is definitely some bitterness in it, yes, but it's not the most pronounced I've had. You know, try a few things like this and if you really want to go full hophead, cool, or this is absolutely your uh, sort of zone, that's absolutely fine as well. Nothing wrong with that, right? Hmm. It's a pretty competent beer. I like the flavours that go on in there. It looks good, I like the ethos of the company. All is well in my world with this beer, so now you can find it a little bit wider. I mean, I've started seeing him popping up a lot more places now. That's really cool. So if you do see him, check out more. And um, they've got plenty more of their, beer, their beers and cans as well. Definitely worth checking them out. And as always, please like, favourite, comment and subscribe. And until the next beer review, everyone, chills.